um, I got my green card through marriage in 2013. Mm -hmm. So that was a two-year green card. And then I got the 10-year green card in 2016. Mm -hmm. Then in 2016, I got arrested. And, you know, they took my fingerprint and everything got through the system. And I lost the green card. Other than, like, the physical card. So I applied for the green card for uh, a replacement card and I got the replacement card. I was approved to get the replacement card. Then, what were you arrested for? <clears throat> uh, simple assault. What happened with the case? Uh, I got convicted. Of what? And I served seven days in jail. Of, of what, what state was this in? Uh, so this was in Pennsylvania. Now I'm in New Jersey, but this was Pennsylvania. Okay. So do you know if it was a misdemeanor? Um, misdemeanor two. Misdemeanor two. I, I'm not a hundred. I'm not a hundred percent familiar with the Pennsylvania Penal Code, but you have an assault okay. about three years after. It sounds like it's a misdemeanor. You did seven days in jail, and and that's yeah. it. Correct. Y yeah. So oh, now never I been arrested I ever I again in your life. No. Good. The question so is what I have. A, I have a green card now, and I'm. I'm trying to see if I could travel, if I can get in, in trouble if I travel, or even if I try to apply for citizenship. Well, you're I mean, not gonna, gonna you're not gonna, oh, there we go. Ask Brad a question. We're a little late there on it. <laughs> um, but um, the the answer is the answer is um, you're not going to become a citizen until at least five years from the time of, or three years from the time of that conviction, if you're still married to your ex-wife or your current wife. If you're married to a U.S. citizen, are you still married? No, okay. no. All right. so then, because the, the case was with her. Oh, it's a domestic violence. <laughs> then the then the yeah. an, the answer is going to be you're not going to travel, because if you can if you are convicted of a domestic violence incident, that's a deportable mm -hmm. offense, and this happened within the first three years of you getting your green card. You're not going to travel. So if I travel and come back, they'll be able to, Based, to look at it, and they they may look at it, and I, I I'm telling you this, uh, without without looking at anything i'm i'm telling you this based on what you're telling me and what you're telling yeah. me is that there was a fight between you and your spouse and that uh -huh. there was an assault and you went to jail for seven days and what the law says is if you're convicted of a crime involving domestic violence that is a deportable offense and that's what you're describing to me so without yeah. i'm say, so i'm telling you not to travel without obviously the benefit of looking at everything. If I look at everything, maybe I'll tell you something different. I don't know. But I'm just based on what you're telling me, I wouldn't travel. Yeah, but I, I was wondering, why did they approve the, the green card then? Um, the replacement card. The, the, every time, let me, just because, and you're making a classic error when it comes to immigration. Mm -hmm. Just okay. because, just because immigration came across you and decided not to put you in deportation at that moment. Doesn't mean that you're not deportable and doesn't mean that the next time they come across you that the same thing will happen. You can't you can't make that immigration has no logic. And and the reason okay. is is maybe maybe it was the end of the day when they looked at your I mean I mean there's all sorts of reasons. Literally maybe it's the right. end of the day and the guy's like, "Yeah, I'm too tired. I don't feel like, you know, bureaucrat. I'm too tired. I don't feel like doing the paperwork. Yeah. I'll hand him his green card." Maybe they don't have any beds. Maybe they're overloaded. Maybe they got a memo saying, "Hey, you know what? We want we want to put uh, people with drug convictions in deportation. Leave the domestic violence people alone." I don't know. You know, there's a hundred reasons why they chose to leave you alone, but that doesn't mean that the next time they come across you the same thing's going to happen. Okay. Fair enough. You understand? Yeah, right, so ha hang in there. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.